morning everyone, I uh, hope you're doing okay today. Um, I'm very tired today. I'm on my third cup of coffee and I'm still feeling pretty sleepy. And um, today we're going to be looking at um, some of Picasso's really expressive portraits, you know, the ones with lots of eyes and mouths in the wrong places and all that sort of stuff. And we're going to be having a look through and trying to think about what each one is trying to convey what sort of mood's happening, what's the person in the picture thinking, what kind of clothes have they got on, um, and we're gonna then do a drawing that's kind of representing how maybe we're feeling today. So maybe I'll be doing one that's a bit of sleep. Um, so I'm gonna show you a lot of examples, um, but just have a wee look through, kind of look at the ones you like, have we think about what each one might be thinking, maybe we'll think about what's Going through their head at that moment, how are they feeling, what kind of colours has um, Picasso used to help you get a sense of what's going on, the shapes, or what sort of what sort of vibe are you enough that painting um, to use really airy fairy language. Um, aye, so have a wee look at some of these and see what you think. I'm going to put some little comments beside them, which is what I think, just to kind of help you along if you're coming to us about like, whoa, what are you asking me to do? Um, but just because I've written them there doesn't mean that's what you've got to think. It's all very subjective and um, we've all got our own opinions. Um, so feel free to really disagree with me. There's also a lot of these. Um, so if you see one you like or you know what you're going to do, feel free to like skip through because it's going to go on for a bit. Sorry, I got quite excited.
So hopefully you've enjoyed looking at those. Um, maybe watch them a few times, see which one you'd like to have a go at, if any of them particularly resonate with you. Um, or if you're like, I love that one, that looks like my pal, I'm going to do that one. Um, or you can choose to just make up your own and steal lots of diff bits from different ones. But um, take your time, no rush. So I'm feeling pretty sleepy today. Um, so normally I think I would normally have picked this one for my usual mood. But today, because I'm like, and I also just spent an hour trying to brush my hair, which wasn't very nice. It was all, um, so I think I'm actually going to do a version of this one. I also like how its eyes are like this, because um, that's how I feel I'm doing. I'm trying to hold my eyes open. So that's why, that's why I've picked that one. But I might add some colour to it. Um, so the next little bit is how I find it easy to start going about these pictures. Um, so you pick the one you'd like um, and you can copy it or you can take elements of it and add your own stuff. Like, so that's what I'm going to do with this one. I'm going to take that one but then also add some of my, my own stuff going on. Um, so watch along and then see what you'd like to do. We've got our paper, we've got our pencil, we've got a rubber, just in case. I'm also going to be using today my arch nemesis jumbo oil pastels because they are good for creating fast colour and I don't have any paint. But if you've got paint at home, I'd maybe go for paint for this one just because it's a bit of fun and it doesn't need to be super clean or anything. Alright, this is also my last bit of paper. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Um, okay, there you go. So our first task, as per usual, is we're gonna block in our big shapes. So for my main big shape, it's a really big face. Um, so once again, I'm gonna be using a really heavy line. You don't need to use a really heavy line because yours doesn't need to show up on camera. So you use nice light lines that you can rub out easily later. So I'm gonna start with my big old face, a rough face shape, a nice pointed chin, like that, then got a bit of a neck and it's not exactly like how Picasso drew it because I'm not Picasso and I don't need to pretend I am. Um, I'm going to change the hair a bit because I don't have loads of hair, I've got a little bit, a little bit sticking out you think I'd um, do something about my appearance before I uploaded it to the internet, but these aren't rational times, you know? So I'm going to have an ear, got another ear. Unusually for Picasso, they're in the right place. So your ears might be all over the joint. And so I'm going to have a big bit of hair here. I'm going to have some bits coming out. I'm going to have some more naughty bits, a bit like... A bit like Picasso's, but not entirely. Sorry, that was downstairs as pulley. Alright, next bit we're going to do is we're going to roughly sketch in the facial features. Not in great detail, but just working out where they are. So again, mine are actually in the right place, unusually for a Picasso, but you just sketch them in where you see them. Um, or not where you see them, wherever you want really. Um, so I've got eyes around about here, I've got a nose around about here, and I've got a mouth about there. That's all the detail I've gone for just now. No more than necessary because we're going to paint it all in and make it all beautiful and we don't want to double up our work because we don't need to do extra work. Okay, if at this stage you are using paint. That is only if you are using paint and only if you want a background. If you are using paint and you want a background, please put it in now. Okay? If you're doing colouring pencils or charcoal, you could do it just now if you want, um, but I'd maybe leave it till the end. But paint, 
was a slightly different kettle of fish. Um, I'm going to do some colour around the bottom, but I'm only going to be able to put it in once I've worked out where I'm putting my hair. Um, so we're kind of throwing a lot of the traditional painting and drawing rules out the window today, just like Picasso normally did. Um, so let's continue in that spirit. Time for coffee number four. I've also just changed the neckline to a, a crew neck, like my normal is, because I don't wear v-necks, they don't suit me. Now we're going to do a little bit of refining, so I'm going to draw in my facial features with a little bit more detail. So, ready. So I've got, I'm going to start with my nose, because the nose is the centre of the face. So I've got a nice thick line here, nice and straight, looks a bit like Squidward, love it. Another bit there, oh that's a bit wide, ooh, no oh, it's not what we want. Bit like that, and a bit like that. Going for some different different kinds of curvy nostrils there, so he has. Um, and then I'm going to do my big, wide, open eyes. I'm going to try and stay awake. One, two, one, two. So I've done a kind of almond shape. And I'm going to have my big irises and pupils. They look so weak because they are not touching the sides of the eyes. They're like, like that. They're not, not touching. I've got a gap here and a gap here. And that's how you can tell that they are trying to stay awake. I've got some eyelids. So I'm just putting in everywhere that's really got big, thick black lines. And um, because Picasso did use lots of nice line weight, and line weight is when lines are thick or thin to show. How dark they are. Um, I'm going to put in some lines under here because look what I've got. Tired lines. So I'm going to do some of those to make it a bit more evocative of moi. Um, and then we're going to do the mouth. It's got quite a nice mouth. It's quite curvy. And it's not, it doesn't look sad, which is nice because I'm not sad. I'm just tired. So I'm just really looking at the shapes he's used and locking them in. Ooh, frazzled. That's a good look in it. A bit more detail into my ears as well. Just copying the lines that he's got there. Might put in my earrings. Got an earring here. Got an earring here. Uh, Alright, I had to have a wee think about what I was going to do with the hair, but I've done it now. It's good. Um, so I've kept the nice spirally bit and kept that up there and then I've done lots of smaller lines and I'm sure you what I'm going to do with later and that's representing all the knots that I had to get out of my hair this morning um, okay so now we've got all our basic bits in we can now look at applying our colour or applying our shading if you're just using pencil and charcoal okay Okie dokie, so I'm going to start with some of the background and colouring in tones and um, before I put in my lines. So whatever you're doing, if you've got any big strong lines, I would leave those for last to really put those in. What we're going to be doing now is we're doing what we normally do is working from the background forward, okay? So if you're using your coloured pencils or charcoal, you're going to be doing the same thing but you'll just be applying your colour in light and dark areas. Okay, does that make sense? So whatever I'm doing with the colour is what you're going to be doing with different shades of tone. So I'm going to start with making sure I'm actually looking at the picture I'm working from. My picture has lots of, it is just black and white, so it's got lots of different areas of shading and tone. So I'm going to put in some colours, starting with some of the cheeks and shading on the face. So I'm going to be going over a lot of my lines and then putting them back in later. So I'm going to go for some nice pink in here. A little bit of my graphite getting mixed in, but we can deal with that. Nice pink around the sides. So I'm just going right over my sketch. Right over it just now. Nice pink. Pink. Lovely. I might put some blue into here. I'm kind of letting my 
my marks go in all directions as well. They don't need to all be going nice and neatly the same way. They don't need to be super neat at all. They can just be light rough. Give yourself a bit of an excuse to try some really loose work here. Okay, so I've gone for lots of nice pinks in there. I might use some different colours to kind of blend into it. Ooh. Make sure if you're using oil pastels they are clean first because that is a bit, a bit dirty and you can tell. The next bits of colouring in I'm just going to do as a time lapse um, so you don't need to watch me doing it really slowly. Okie dokie, so I've done my face colours. I haven't covered it all, I've left some paper blank so don't feel you've got to cover everything. And I've done some vague background, um, nothing too neat. I've done a little bit of blending with some white oil pastel but mostly it's quite an open texture. And now we're going to do our lines. So I'm just going to enhance a lot of the lines that are on um, Picasso's original and add some of my own. Some of them are going to be thick, some of them are going to be thin, but um, generally I'm going to outline everything. Okay, so this is my Picasso mood, apparently. Um, it's come out quite scary looking. I promise I am fine, right? It's just, I've let it out, okay? Um, so I hope you enjoy creating a similarly cathartic um, piece or it's got to copy one of, one of the earlier ones, whatever's happening for you today. Um, hopefully it's happening a bit nicer than this. Um, okay, but today's joke, I'm actually quite pleased with. I think it's quite good. It is. How many artists does it take to change a light bulb? Ten. One to change it, and nine to reassure him that it looks good. Ha <laughs> ha I like that. I find that to be quite true. Um, all right. Um, have a lovely weekend. I hope you're have a nice time. Uh, let's create some beautiful artwork and stay safe. <laughs>